We've got Twitch user Simply Red, Coach Smitty Werberman Jensen, and his 82 overall Minnesota Vikings traveling to Los Angeles to take on the 80 overall Los Angeles Rams. Hey, what's up, Z Defeat? How you doing, bud? Welcome. Uh, well, the first thing is uh, you don't uh, indirectly go in to anyone's stream and say you're a streamer. Uh, the second thing is you just either are really good or you do it for a really long time. Or both. Pretty much all of my streamer friends have more followers than me, actually. But uh, how you doing out here, Z Defeat? You must be French. Because they have suffered Z defeat in every war. Alright. We take you to sunny Los Angeles and it's not sunny. We're playing under the lights. Here come the one and two Vikings looking to notch their third loss of the season. They could have been 0 and 3, but they stole one from the Bills last week. Jordan Reed out here trying to flex on him. He got Joe Flacco and the Rams. Who you guys think is going to win this one? You got Mitch Trubisky leading the Vikings and Joe Flacco leading the Rams. Both quarterbacks, awful. I agree. It is going to be a close one, I think. Or at least in theory it will be. Here we go. Vikings to receive the first half kickoff. This one a little short, fielded by McKenzie at the four. McKenzie's going to bring this one up to the 28, and the Vikings will step in there with Mitch Trubisky at the helm. Now remember, Trubisky has earned the right to start for this team who doesn't want to win by being awful. Coach Ford thinks the Rams are going to win this one. Trubisky under center, two wide outs, single back in the backfield. Going to be a handoff to Carlos Hyde. Bounces off the first tackle. Going to pick up two. That'll bring up second and eight. There you see the Vikings have really nobody of any consequence. Jordan Reed is decent. Calvin Ridley, I believe, is a rookie in this game, so he's not as good as he actually is in real life. And the Rams have some stars on defense. Yeah, drink that water. Hand off to Sims, who spins out of the first tackle, carries through the second one, and going to end up with a 13-yard gain there. Coach Red telling him he's on watch. Better stop getting so many yards. Remember, their starting running back went down with an injury and is out for a few weeks. Carlos Hyde back in, picks up about two or three here. Matthew Judon, another big name. Bradley Chubb as well, Denzel Ward. Like I said, the Rams have a few stars on defense out here. Split back in the Vikings' backfield. Three wide receivers. Trubisky looking to throw. Throws it to the right. And this one complete to Carlos Hyde for a gain of four. That'll bring up third and three at the 50. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Trubisky looking to throw again, looks left, complete to Smith, and this one a gain of six, first down for the Vikings into Rams territory at the 44. Despite the fact that Coach Red wants to lose, I want him to win because I want the users to pick up a victory here. No thanks to Coach Ford or uh, Coach Roddy or who was our other guy? I don't remember, but yeah. Trubisky looking, throwing deep over the left. And Sanu drops it. He heard his coach yell, calm down from the sidelines. And he does just that. <laughs> coach Red, perfect. Look at him. He's got the reception. And Ward just taps his hand and he drops it. Second and ten for the Vikings. Tight end to the right side of the line. This is going to be a stretch run to Hyde, who runs over the corner, but is still going to go down for the tackle. Uh, third and eight now after the gain of two. Trubisky in the gun, stepping back, throwing the screenplay to Sims, who gets away from the tackler, and unfortunately his stall lets the tackler catch up to him, and he's going to be stopped after a gain of four. Fourth and four, and that's going to bring the field goal unit out to attempt a 55-yarder. Now, we've seen Graham Gano hit a 65-yarder this season, so this is well within his range. Graham, we watching you. <laughs> He's being evaluated, but not for the positive attributes that you might think. Gano on to attempt this 55-yarder. It's up. It's got the distance. And it's good. Gano puts another one through the uprights. Making a case for Kicker of the Year award. And the Vikings take the early 3-0 lead. He didn't have 65 yards on that one, but he could have spared another probably five. That could have been good from 60. This one, another strong kick. Goes through the back of the end zone. Flacco will lead this inept Rams offense out onto the field to see what they can do. There you see Flacco's stats this season, 582 yards, three touchdowns, six interceptions. This one, a handoff to Brita, runs right. Tries to spin, gets nothing for that spin effort, but he's going to end up with a gain of four. Second and six at the 29-yard line. Here's your look at the offensive line for the Rams and their skill position players. You got Stephon Diggs, Travis Kelsey, both stars. Darius Geis, who will likely be a star, but he's not yet. Flacco, a handoff to Brita, starts right, runs left, and he allows himself to be pulled down by his arm and shoulder pads. Either way, first down, uh, that'll bring him out to the 40-yard line.
You got Travis Kelsey on the left side of the line. Flacco under center, throws the slant to Jordy Nelson. This one complete to the 50, a gain of 11. And the Rams offense is on the move. That's what Coach Red and his, uh, well, I was gonna say pathetic defense, but honestly, their defense isn't that bad. He wants them to be, but they're not. But that's what uh, him and the defense have come up with here. Flacco in the gun, Brita to his right. Flacco under pressure, has time though, and he hits Diggs coming across the middle. This one good for 13. That's gonna be another first down for the Rams. That's gonna take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, the score is Minnesota three, Los Angeles zero. Are you a Diggs fan now, Red? Diggs played for the uh, uh, Vikings last year. Actually, in real life, I think he's been traded to the Bills. Not a, not a Diggs fan until he scores on you, right? Just just catching a pass isn't enough to make you a fan, huh? Flacco throwing right, hits Jordy Nelson. This one complete for a gain of eight. Second and two. Oh, that's who else screwed it up for us. Coach Ryu lost to the uh, Cardinals. That's right. Four receivers in tight. Flacco under center. I believe that's still Brita in the uh, backfield. Play fake, and Flacco's going down hard. A loss of 10 on the sack. Third and 12. I would love to see the Titans be able to come up with some sacks this week. They've only got one for the season. The Titans are also going to be tested uh, by the Eagles running game. They've got Derrick Henry. All right, third and 12 at their own, uh, sorry, at the Minnesota 39, just under five minutes to go before halftime. Flacco with an empty backfield, shotgun, intercepted by the uh, Minnesota defense. And this one is brought right back to the 39 yard line and that's where Trubisky and company will set up shop. That one was intended for Nelson Aguilar, but it was just short. Aguilar didn't even get a chance to fight for it. Clearly this is not calming down. <laughs> First and 10 for the uh, Trubisky led Vikings. Got two receivers to the right, single back in the backfield. Trubisky steps back, throws, and ooh, looked like an athletic grab, but he drops it as he comes down out of bounds. That one, another drop from Sanu Sr. <laughs> More like that. Look, he has the grab. If he had come up with that catch, Red would have been a little bit more miffed. We got four in tight here. Hyde in the backfield. Trubisky under center, play fake, throws right, complete to Smith, and this is the biggest play of week four so far. Touchdown Vikings. 61 yard touchdown. And Coach Red can't believe it. 
He is irate on the sidelines. When he wants to win, he loses. Which is convenient because he never wanted to win. But when he wants to lose, he wins. He first made his desire known to be winless on the season in week three, and that's where he stole his first victory. Now, still making that desire to lose known, he takes an early 10-0 lead. Maybe it's reverse psychology, Red. Maybe you should tell your team that you want to win and they need to do everything they can to make that happen. There you see Coach going over, trying to figure out where the defensive breakdown happened. Gano to kick this one away. This one's short, fielded by Aguilar at the one and a half. Aguilar brings it up to his 32. And that's where he's hit, dropped, and Flacco and the Rams offense will take back over there. Flacco, 3 of 4 with 32 yards and an interception today so far. We need a... Did anybody clip that touchdown for the Vikings? Because so far, that's one of the few plays that uh, I can think of that would qualify for a top 10 play. Brita gets this one and is met in the backfield. He's going to lose one yard. <clears throat> and I'll bring up second and 11. Let's see if the Vikings defense can give up the big play that Coach Red so desperately wants them to. Rams out in the eye, two receivers to the left. Flacco, play fake, looking, plenty of time, throws it over the middle, complete to Jordy Nelson, down to the 40-yard line of the Vikings. That'll put them across midfield once again. Red, pretty pleased this time. He's out there complimenting them, which means reverse psychology. We're going to see a stop here shortly. Two receivers stacked to the top of your screen. Hand off to Brita, and there's you a big stuff. Loss of three. Rams in the gun. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to make notes of where to clip things because no one's uh, helping me out right now. We haven't had a lot of top ten worthy plays this week. Uh, we might not even do a top ten this week because I'm not gonna have a lot of time, guys. This one I've got one day off uh, after league streams. Flacco rolling out to his right. He's gonna be brought down. It's not going to count as a sack, though, because he gets forward from the line of scrimmage, but it is fourth and six that will bring on the field goal unit. It's not It's not you, Red. Uh, like, there's other people that can clip, but uh, no, the, the one or two people who were clipping were, uh, they went to bed already. Oh, well, either way, it still would have applied. But, uh, yeah, I, I worked four out of the next five nights after tomorrow's league stream. So I get one night off to try and put all the videos up and get a top ten in, which means I'm not going to get to stream anything else. Field goal unit on to attempt a 53. No, it's a fake. It's a fake, and the Vikings stop it. Not going on the top ten reel, but... First time we've seen a legit fake field goal. It was kind of cool. 
They gave it to the slow guy to run it, though. Not sure I agree with that particular call, but hey. Kudos for trying. And the guy who came up with the interception earlier is the one who stops the fake field goal. Here we go. First and 10 for the Vikings. Holding on to a 10-0 lead just inside two minutes to go before halftime. Trubisky back to throw, looking, throwing left. I thought he had it, but it falls incomplete. Keep looking for a place to set my water bottle that doesn't set it right under the mic or right in front of the computer exhaust fan. Snag, you know it's not computer versus computer. Come on now. Why you ask a question you know the answer to? Trubisky under center, dropping back, throwing, rolling to his right, under pressure, throws right. It's intercepted and Trubisky showing why he's the starting quarterback of these Minnesota Vikings. The Rams pick this one off at Vikings territory down at the 47-yard line. <laughs> Red on the side. Let's say, yes, yes. It, it's Red's team. Uh, uh, it's Red's team. <laughs> Here come the Rams. Flacco in the gun. Kelsey to the right. I don't remember which star receiver that is to the left, but he's up there. Flacco drops back, throws it over the middle to Aguilar. Hit hard after a gain of six. Three viewers. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for bringing that to my attention. Appreciate that, Snag. What would I do without you? Everybody went to bed. This is why I decided I wasn't going to squeeze all the games into one night anymore. Because most of our viewers... And Davis comes up with a big interception. And just how big is it? Is it six? No, the running back chases him down. But they're going to have first and ten at the Rams 33. But yeah, this is why I'm not squeezing all the games into one stream. Even if I actually could stay awake and keep my voice up for doing it again like I did last week, viewership just dies uh, after a certain point, which it has now. We were at like 11 to 13, now we're at 3. That's, I mean, it is what it is. It's okay. The league was definitely more intriguing and fun for people at the beginning, I think. Uh, we had viewership, you know, close to 20 for the first two weeks. The VODs had tons of views. These last two weeks, not as much, but as long as people are still having fun, it's still more viewers than the other content we've been uh, bringing out. So this one complete to Reed, spinning down the sideline, spinning away again, and this one complete for about 21 yards. Minnesota calls a timeout. They're going to try and put seven more on the board here. One oh one to go before the half. Minnesota with the ball. First and ten at the twelve. Three receivers to the right, one at the bottom of your screen. Trubisky looking to throw. Throws over the center. And it's dropped by Calvin Ridley. Hearing the words of his coach echo through his heart. Ridley drops this one on purpose. Trubisky with no one in the backfield. Five wide. 57 seconds to go before halftime. Throws it deep into the end zone. Touchdown Vikings to the tight end Jordan Reed. And Coach Red is not going to be happy. Right now we could be looking at the most lopsided games in the young league's history. And it's in favor of the coach who wants to lose. 
Either way, easy touchdown for Jordan Reed there. And this to give the Vikings a 17-point lead. It's up. And it's up. No, no, it was already up. It's in. Extra point is good. Kickoff fielded at the one-yard line by Richard to the 20, 25, 30, and that's where he's brought down. The Rams now have 49 seconds and three timeouts to work with to try and get some points on the board before halftime. 50 second replay. Huh? Flacco with no one in the backfield with him in the gun. Here we go, Flacco over the middle to Diggs. Diggs is gonna catch this one for a gain of four. Not the kind of play they need. They already have to burn a timeout. Second and six, Flacco, three-step drop, looks to the right. Why? Why, Flacco? Whatever. It's what? A five-yard gain, so now it's third and one for, uh, for the Rams. He does get out of bounds, though, so it does conserve a timeout, but they're still looking at third and one. Was only gone for five minutes. Flacco back to throw, looks, hits Travis Kelsey. There's a flag on the play. This could be coming back for holding. You know what's sad, Goat, man, is Red doesn't even want to win. He wants to lose, and his team won't do it. Imagine if he had said he wanted to lose back when we started the season. He could be 4-0 right now. Rams back it up 10 yards. Breida going to get the handoff. Runs left side. He's going to pick up about six. And the Vikings are going to call a timeout. Fourth and five now. We'll see the punt unit. Will the Vikings put even more points on the board before halftime? This one bounces through the end zone, and the Vikings will take over with 25 seconds to go and a timeout. I don't think they're going to bother, but let's see. Trubisky's already having his best game of the season. 6 of 11 for 108 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. I think they hand the ball off here, and... That's probably it. Hand off to Hyde. Hyde's going to lose a yard there. And I was right. No one's going to call any timeouts. That's going to take us to halftime. At the half, your score is, after Hyde gets one more stat pad and carry, score is Minnesota 17, Los Angeles Rams 0. Let's see if the Vikings can get their shit together and fail better coming out of the locker room. Gonna give him a pep talk. Sanchez is in. You you want Sanchez in for real? <laughs> Jesus. All right. We'll put Sanchez in. Once it lets me. Kickoff is fielded by Aguilar and down in the end zone. Still can't change the depth chart. It's considered during a play.
I can't believe you actually want to bench Trubisky and put in Sanchez. Why are you actively trying to lose? Win some games, man. We want the users to actually do well. All right. Sanchez is in for the Vikings. Yeah, but you've already failed that, so you can't go 0 and 16. Kelsey, motion from right to left across the formation. Flacco, play fake, bootleg to the right, hits Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to pick up five. That'll bring up second and five for the Rams here early going in the second half. Other than Spyro's Giants, we don't have any winless teams left. Uh, Snag Up Kids Colts managed to pick up a win earlier, so that took out one of the only two winless teams. Strong eye formation for the Rams. It's a handoff power run for Brita to the right side. Plenty of room, and he's going to take this one 23 yards. First and 10 to the Vikings, 47. We got a lot of teams in contention at a one and three right now, though. Jumbo package for the Rams to the weak side of the field. Darius Geis gets the handoff and runs off left side of the center. He's going to pick up three yards. It'll be second and seven. Vikings 4-3 defense. Weak shaded. Throws. It's tipped. Tart almost comes down with another interception but he's unable to hold on to it as it falls out of his hands. Must have heard Coach Red yelling from the locker room. Flacco with an empty backfield, looking right, throws to the camera crew, he hits the guy. And I'm gonna say that was a complete pass. Cook on to punt for the Rams. And this one's in the end zone. So here comes Mark Sanchez leading the Vikings in Trubisky's place. Trubisky did too well. I'm going to laugh if Sanchez actually wins this game. Red is going to laugh if Sanchez comes in and actually loses this game. Hyde gets the carry to the right side stretch. It's going to come up with a negative two yard play. Second and 12 at the 18. At this point, it would take a lot to overcome a 17 point lead though. Sanchez back to throw, hits Reed over the middle. This one complete for four. We've got third and eight at their own 22 with three minutes to go in the third quarter. Sanchez in the gun, looking, and he's going down. It might be enough for uh, the Vikings to lose this one. Who knows? Fourth and 16 after the sack on Sanchez. Judon showing why he's an elite. He just bull rushes past the right tackle and gets in on Sanchez. Nothing Sanchez can do about that one. Allen to punt, it's up and away, and it's gonna go out of bounds at the 27 yard line. That's where Flacco and the Rams will try to mount their comeback attempt here. 
Not sure why they're highlighting Geis. They've only given him one carry. He gained three yards on it. There we go. Flacco under the gun. Sorry, under center. They hand off to uh, Geis again. It's another gain of three. Second and seven after that gain of three. The ball's at the 30-yard line. Do we think the Rams are good enough to overcome the Vikings' defense? There's only so much that yelling at the defense will do to help you lose at this point. Rams back to throw, looks, and he hits Aguilar down the left sideline. Gain of six, third and two. Nelson Aguilar has three receptions, but only 17 yards. It's a, it's a pretty weak stat line. Still better than Antonio Brown for the Titans, though. Antonio Brown has two catches for 13 yards the whole season, and he's been injured for two weeks. Um, okay, Snag. Being weird again. Brita gets the carry off the left side, cuts back, and he's got a solid gain. That's a first down to the 46. Oh, no. We had our first dropped frames of the day. We're seven hours into the stream, and we've dropped 35 frames. It's not even enough to register 0.1%. That's what I like to see. All right, you got two receivers to the right, Kelsey and a receiver to the left, and Flacco with the running back offset to his right. Hand off to Brita, who runs up the middle. This one's going to be a gain of three. Eight carries for 56 yards, and even seven yards a carry out there for Matt Breida. Good thing you got a lot of games in. Why, why you say that, Ford? Flacco handing off to Breida up the middle, just carrying the man. Breida now improving his yards per carry average a little more. First down for the Rams. Oh, no, no, I see what you're talking about because of the internet. Yeah, I got you. Because of the typical internet, yeah. I finally pieced it together, like, what, 30 seconds after I read it? I formation for the Rams. And play's not going to get off in time. We're going to the fourth quarter. Your score right now, Minnesota 17 and trying to lose. Los Angeles 0 and not sure if they're trying to win. Here we go. Rams at the Vikings, 41, first and 10. Flacco to throw, rolling to his left. He's going down. Three purple people leaders there to take him down. And Lawrence is going to come up with the sack. Second and 16, ball at the 47. People could say what they mean to me, and I sometimes miss it completely. <laughs> I mean, I kind of figured there was a comma there. I guess if you're reading that, it does uh, help, though. All good people could say what they mean to me. Not the bad people, though. Or it's all good. People can say what they mean. Rams throw to Diggs. This one complete for 12 yards. And that's going to be first and 10 to the Vikings, 28. We are under five minutes to play here in the game. My nose won't stop itching. Flacco throws left to Brita, complete gain of nine. Second and one. Dim commas, though. Four receivers in tight. 
Running back to Flacco's right. Flacco gets the snap, throws it to Aguilar. Has his body rocked like he's a Black Eyed Peas member. And he drops this one. Third and one. This one, a handoff to Brita. And I thought for sure he was going to get the first down. He carries for a gain of one, and it's going to be fourth and one. And looks like we're they were going to go for it, which they don't have much choice. But it's a false start. We're going to back up five yards. And the Vikings have gone from wanting to lose to, in spite of Coach Red's desires, maybe pitching a shutout. Flacco to throw, fourth and six, looking over the middle. Touchdown Rams, and there goes the shutout. This one complete to Stefan Diggs. What are you confused about, Goatman? There's plenty to be confused about, but I'm, I'm just curious which part you are confused about. On to attempt the extra point. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. Snag, you, you be, you being a little weird, bud. And by a little weird, I mean a lot weird. The onside kick attempt fails. The Vikings come up with this one easily, and Sanchez and company will take over at the Rams' 45. Here we go. Vikings looking to give up a 10-point lead here. Hyde gets this one, and he's trying to run it off the left side, but he's not going to get there. He's going to lose a yard. Seven carries for five yards. That'll bring up second and 11. I definitely thought that was going to be offsides uh, on the Rams, but they didn't throw a flag. I'll be less weird, and by less weird, I mean not weird. Not a good start. Sanchez handing off to Hyde, who runs up the middle. And this one going to be a gain of seven, third and four now. We're under three minutes to go. Viking is going to try and drain the clock, despite Coach Red wanting them to forfeit the game. Sanchez jumps to catch the snap. Sims gets the handoff and he's going to carry it forward for 10 yards. Sims with 11.5 yards per carry on two carries. Easy quick math there. That's going to bring us to the two minute warning. Vikings have the lead 17, Rams 7. Imagine if the snap had gone over Sanchez's head though. I feel like that would have been fun. Vikings with the ball, first and 10 at the Rams 29. Easily within field goal range, assuming Sanchez doesn't screw it up. We got the eye formation with the tight end to the left side of the line. Sanchez hands off to Hyde, stretch to the left, and he's not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. He's going to lose a yard, or maybe even two on that hard tackle. Second and 12. The Rams suck like me. Big rip out there for Coach Ford and the Falcons. Here we go, I formation again. Two receivers to the left side of the field. 
Handoff to Hyde up the middle. And this one's going to back up 10 yards for a holding penalty, I'm sure. Holding what if holding had been on the defense, though? I don't think Coach Red would have believed it. That's going to bring up second and 22, but this is not out of field goal range. Let's go now. Hand off to Hyde. He stopped right at the 40, and the Rams call their second timeout. Third and 21. One forty-nine to play in the game. Rams trail by 10. And the Vikings doing everything they can here to not win. But I think they're still going to come away with this one. What did they do? They, they put in their backup trying to lose the game. But they already had a 17-point lead, and their quarterback hasn't really had to actually throw the ball. He's mostly just handing it off. This one a short gain, and the Rams call their final timeout. On to attempt a 55-yard field goal is Graham Gano, his second 55-yarder of the day. It's up, and it's got plenty of distance. No good, though. Maybe it didn't have the distance. Did it go under the crossbar? I thought for sure he had that field goal. Where did this one miss? Ah, it was wide left. It did have the distance, it just didn't have the accuracy that time. And the Rams have a chance to eat in and start their miracle run. They need 10 points, they've got a minute 40 and no timeouts. What they need, a touchdown, an onside kick, and a field goal, or two touchdowns. Flacco, back to throw, throws it to Brita out of the backfield, who foolishly only gets about two or three and stays in bounds. But Rams catch a break. Vikings have an injury, forced to call a timeout uh, for that injury, and that'll stop the clock even though the Rams aren't playing very smart. I told you, the Vikings are indeed trying to lose. Gano misses his first field goal of the season. And I'm pretty sure that Vikings player wasn't hurt. He just did it so that the coach would get off his ass. 135 to go in the game. Flacco back to throw. Looking, throwing left. Wait. It's a short gain, but it's a 15-yard face mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Vikings actively trying. Automatic first I don't know why he would throw that. He's Joe Flacco. That probably explains everything. First and 10 for the Rams at the 34. Honestly, if you're the Rams here, I got to think you go for something to the sideline, get yardage, and kick your field goal. And then try and get the onside kick because either way you need the onside kick so leave yourself as much time as possible the Vikings give up another five free yards and coach red is finally getting through to this team the Vikings are threatening to collapse here down the stretch is it enough Flacco to throw, looking left, steps up, throws right. I don't even have a horse in this race. I don't care about the Rams. I don't care about Joe Flacco. But what the hell are we watching right now? Gave him room to run and he still throws whatever that garbage was. Aguilar comes up with the first down reception and the Rams hurry back to the line. Well, he made his money. Time to do something with it. Flacco steps up in the pocket. 
And the Vikings break this one up, stopping the clock. Initially, that looks like a good play for the Vikings, but maybe it's not. Maybe you let the uh, play break up to stop the clock if you're trying to lose so that the Rams have time to make a better not game-winning decision at this point. Flacco throws over the middle to Kelsey. You really want to see Minnesota take their time out here, but they're not going to. Third and five for the Rams. They should just kick the field goal or throw it to the end zone. They throw it to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Conley comes up with this one for the Vikings, and despite collapsing there at the end, the Vikings are still going to steal this win. Tough break out there, Red. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and add a win for the users here. No thanks to Red's desires. And despite trying to lose, Red actually improves to being better than half the league right now. He's two and two. Sanchez takes a knee. And I think we're going to see one, maybe two more snaps. And that'll do it for us. There's your last snap of the game. Congratulations where it's not due to Coach Red slash Smitty Werberman Jensen and the Minnesota Vikings. The Rams can't believe it. They can't believe that they had a chance to come back while the Vikings were letting them and they still couldn't do it. Your final score of this one Minnesota Vikings 17, Los Angeles Rams 7. That's right, Flacco. Hang your head in shame. Get off the field. You couldn't win even when they were letting you. Story of your life.